Thank you so much for coming down. Yeah, Y'all, my friends. Yeah. Scaredly, you okay, can't really see any, any of y'all, but I assume you're my friends. Let me just grab my guitar here, and then we'll see what's going on. Yeah. First, we have to sort out the beers for the band. Not for me. Hi. <clears throat> So look at here, my name is Nathan Larson, uh, and this is my band, and we're going to play you some nice songs, alright? Yeah. Is that agreeable to you? I know. So let's do it. Kevin uh, says he needs a little bit of my guitar in the monitor. You guys, we had a rough day. <laughs> I bet some of y'all had a rough day, but we kind of had a rough day. I had a little traffic accident on my way over to the show. And, um, like, uh, just, uh, well, my man is switching habits. I hit, like, the one car in Brooklyn that you wouldn't want to hit. And, uh, and, uh, 
then wound up in a really bad situation where I had to call the cops and was hoping that the cops would get there first before the guy who owned the car got there because it was like a parked car and he was uh, supposed to be a scary guy apparently I was told by the anyway I'm not making much sense but it was it was sort of rough so I'm a little bedraggled so you have to excuse me for that anyway okay here's another song that I wrote, that I wrote and that we can play and <laughs> Oh, and we've been joined by some horn players, I see. Look at that back there. Shall we do this? Oops. Oops, hang on. Oh, jeez. You guys want to rock? <laughs> it's okay, man! sound to you guys? Sound reasonable? All right, now see. Guitar, uh, what? Guitar, guitar, guitar. The louder guitar? It needs to be a little louder. You think it needs to be louder? Yeah, yeah. But you're sitting, really? Now the sound man. You think it needs to be louder? I think so. This guy says it's fine. You guys want to go outside and have a kung fu fight? 
How's that sound? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank really? you. Really? Oh, we're told that we marry, marry my friend. Mary, that's Mary. She's my friend. Yeah. Nate, I wish that you're wrong, man. They, he's, they're just saying they want more guitars. And James was saying he wanted some more guitars in the wedges that's over right. yeah. in this area here. You can't, you can't hear either of us, David. Maybe because you're standing like right there. I'm sorry. We don't mean to have like a private conversation. Turn up a little. Should we? So we turn them up a little bit? I don't know. Alright, well, okay. Fire! Okay, this is a song called What If I Fade. I wrote this in a hotel room in Los Angeles. I was in Los Angeles to uh, write a hit song. Okay, and I wasn't, um, and I did not succeed in, in, in that mission. <laughs> um, Hot ones! You, you know, dude, don't distract me, man. I'm trying to, I'm having a rough day, bro. But you're cool, man. But don't distract me. Um, so anyway, here's a song called What If I Fade. It goes like this. What if our gracious God is gone? There was a time when you could look upon my face And the sunlight lent its luster to my curls Then a thousand cigarettes came coloring my voice and the world thinks me unkind Oh, sweet sister, please just let me plead my days And hope that justice is blind Hear the courtroom out and calculate my way I got what you need What you need is hard. What if I stay? What if I go home? What if I fade? Before the sun is done. What if I stray? What if I fade? She's gone. Stay. What if I 
first show, well, we did it, yeah, more or less, right? Yeah. It's yeah. I think my mom's, we, mom? Hi. Hi. How was work? Great, yeah? Okay. That's my mom, you guys. Yeah! Giving him to my mom. Yeah! She raised me up right. She yeah! raised me right, supported me, you know, in being, in, being an artist. All that stuff. Ew. Fantastic. Ew. All right. Ew. What do we gotta do? Oh jeez. There's a lot of ballads. Let me get a drink of water. There's a lot of ballads. I was in a band called Shutter to Think. Yeah. We like to rock. We at the time we rocked super hard. And so I think. I don't know. I think I wrote a bunch of these songs sort of as a reaction. I was rocking all the time. And so I was like, no, no, no I want to do like some songs that go like more mellow and just have fewer chords. I want some more manly! There's, um, well, I can't, see, I can't do, I'm not, in, I'm, not, I'm not in shape to do that one tonight, my man. Uh, it is a good song. Hey, dude, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough for that. This is a song called We Don't Need Anybody to Tell Us Our Game. And it goes like this. Nice. 
for the little Sonic Youth move and do a little alternate tuning thing. You know, it involves taking this string. I'll show you guys. You know, that's sort of supposed to be the same thing. And then I just tuned up. So it goes like this. And then it's, no, it's not really that good. Do you guys have any questions or any thoughts at this point? When's your next show? Um, my, in fact, what is that sound, man? I think it's a good thing, but I'm wondering what the next, what that sound was. Any song from my size of the mind. Oh, dude, I can't do it. I'm sorry. You're all good. You're all really good. Thanks, man. I hear your shit, James. This song is called Hello Flame. I wrote this in Sweden. It's for my uh, for my girlfriend.
Lake Tyson. Hey, so check it out. So it's kind of weird because I have a record coming out in July, I think. Are there any representatives from my record company here, my manager, somebody who would know this information? August. So apparently I'm doing some shows now, you know, to kind of to get, you know, whet your appetite for that record. But, huh? Oh, dude, it's on Artemis Records, man. You can, are you going to buy it? Yeah. You better. I bought mine, sorry. Huh? You bought that one. Yeah, if you bought that one, you, I think you'll buy this one. That was a weird one. Huh? Oh, I can't, you guys can't do this, though. Are we, am I loitering too much? I feel comfortable. I wanted to do like a Sam Cook thing. Did you guys ever hear that Sam Cook where really beautiful uh, live at the Harlem Club? Any of you guys? Yeah. yeah. You know how that just punk that is and just how awesome? I wanted to do a little thing like that, but we didn't work it out. So I'm going to talk to you about my band, all right? There's only like a Clayton Dolly right here. He's representing Australia. He's playing keyboards. Clayton doesn't suck on the keyboards at all. Not at all. You got my friend James Elliott right here playing bass. If you thought he sucked, you were wrong. He doesn't suck. Mr. James Eha on guitar over here. Another guy who doesn't suck. Kevin March back there playing drums. None of us suck up here. We may not sound totally awesome, but we don't, at least we don't suck. What if what if fire? You're like firehouse. What's that? Is that a song? I don't know that song, dude. <laughs> oh, we're gonna do like a. I wrote this song with my homie, this guy Jeremy. I wrote this in LA too, and he wrote all the Macy Gray stuff, you know. And he's my homie, and he plays keyboards for them. So this is. This is um, co-written with my friend Jeremy, and it goes, it's called Someone Else's Song. Yeah. It's clean.
Snappy songs, right? Snappy and happy. I don't got any more snappy and happy songs, so if you like the slow stuff, you're in luck. If you don't, sorry about that. You can talk to your friends and drink some beers. I want I, dude, if I could, I would, man, because it's, you know. I can't, I can't go to that, that sad place, man. Yeah, right. Yo, I can't do anything without these boys up here, man. I can't even go to the bathroom. They were, these guys helping me out all day, man. I was stressed out. You guys ever have one of those days? Can we talk about the Department of Transportation? Can I just tell you a really quick story? You guys go ahead and play whatever you want while I'm talking about this story. Feel like at the Department of Transportation. So we were in Dumbo, right? To pick up some, pick up this world that's over here. Now you guys dig this. Um, apparently, where Clayton rehearses is also, is also the Department of Transportation right, building, right? So we parked the van to load this up, and then this Department of Transportation vehicle pulls in and totally parks us, right? So I was like, hey guys, can you, and they totally like blew me off. So I had to go upstairs to the Department of Transportation. I was like, um, you guys are blocking our van, we need to get out. And then the girl at the desk was like, do you read English? And I was like, yeah. That pocket is only for the Department of Transportation vehicles only. It's people like you who, who, and then she started talking, and then she started sassing me. So I got a little bit upset, and my friends, they had my back. Plus she was a really short woman, so it wasn't like, you know. What is the point of what I'm saying? Let's just play song. two jokes about pirates in the world. And if you can come up with a third, then I'll give you 20 bucks. Okay? The first one, excuse me? It's a, it has to be a pirate joke. Is it, if it's like nautical and it doesn't have to do with pirate, but pirate, that doesn't count. The dude, hang on. What's your joke? It's a visual joke, it requires a visual. Do you want to come up here for a second? I'd like to see this. Come on up here while I'm tuning. Are you not coming up? I can't see you, so I don't know if you're coming up. Or... There he is, okay. Here we go. It's a little vulgar, and uh, I hope I don't offend any of the ladies here. Oh, I shouldn't say it if your mom's here. No, it's cool. <laughs> no, seriously. Is she not going to get offended? It's too late. You got to say it. 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks. Um, what's got two thumbs, one eye, and loves to eat pussy? Me! <laughs> 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 <
I tell you what, I'll give you a card and a cools and a pair of Puma sweatpants for that one. Thanks a lot, man. That was not a that wasn't a pirate joke. I'm talking about jokes like this. Did you guys hear about the new pirate movie? It's rated R. I'm talking about that kind of thing. You tell me there's not. Come up with another one. There once was a pirate from Nantucket. No, no, no. That's a limerick. Limericks uh -huh. don't count for the 20. It was crowd time again for the skies In the ghosts of children lost to a few angels of Dead and dying girls Thurs with no sense to the The last nights of the night On the night I woke the hearts Moving was mine Canadian singer, okay, but then I recorded it with my uh, fiance who was kind of famous, and then the record company was really psyched to put it out as a single. So here we go. You'll take me summertime. 
I'll take the fall. And I need a microphone. Oh shit. What is wrong with you? Wanna start over? Yeah. Start over. Fuck the first line's the best. You ready for one more time? Sometimes show business. You fucking wake up out there and give him some love. That's why I bring her. That's why I bring her up. I'm too shy to say stuff like that. You know these Scottish people. Okay. You'll take the summertime, and I'll take the fall. That's my friend Angela. Now when she gets on the microphone, she's, she begins to get wrecked. That was a little hip-hop terminology, you can't call you. Oh jeez. What are we doing next? Oh, oh, wow. 
Did we skip something? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I, I don't want to, I kind of don't want to say that. We can do that later if we want, maybe, but... What your other pirate show? I was afraid, having said, okay, I was afraid someone was going to say, ah, sad, because I can't remember it. But I remember there being a visual component to it, such that it would be, well, I'm on stage, so. Someone told me it over the phone, and it was like, <laughs> literally said it like, so there's, rock the plane, Arr! and then, like, I couldn't see what he was doing, so it didn't make any sense. Hot ones! Dude, I can't, I can't, I just can't, I, just, I got my own thing now. I, I'll get better, like it or not, but you'll enjoy the... You wrote it, your thing! You'll, you'll come to love this material, man. I, I trust you, man. I do love you! Uh, excuse me? More ballads. More ballads. See, that's my boy right there. That's what I want to hear is what... You know what? But we're going to rock you one time. Here we go, one time. You got me dying out here.
I wouldn't pay it. But anyway, just so you know, in case you got some extra, you know, walking around money you want to spend on me. Thanks a lot, everyone. The shows will get, the shows will get more, you know, professional as, as, as time goes on. Have a good evening.